Hello there, fellow space engineers. I am the Linking Tinker, and today I'm going to show you a little something that I've been working on. This is an exterior program that allows you to create mods that add sounds to the sound block very easily. So, first I'm going to give you an example. We have this Sound Block Mod Maker World. We'll go into Edit Settings and Mods, and as you can see here, I've got a local mod that has the uh, is named Mod Maker Demo Sounds. So we'll just load that up, click OK. And it's important to notice that in order to use local mods, you need to be in offline mode, otherwise it won't allow it. OK, so we'll click OK and load the world. Cool. Now we have to wait for it to load. Boop, 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 boop. And go. Yes, okay. So now this world just has a speaker, a couple buttons, and a gravity generator. Just, you know, stuff that you can use to test out the sounds you've loaded into your mod. So we'll go into the sound block. We'll come down here to the sounds, and it's got all the sounds that it previously had, but now it's got these two extra sounds that were in the mod. So we'll hit play. You have completed your mental and physical examination. We are pleased to announce you are in peak condition. Congratulations! You have been accepted into the Cortec Automation Regiment. The maglev will bring you to the Cortec Center where you will begin your training. Cool. So that was one of the sounds, and I've got another sound in here that I also loaded with that mod. Welcome, recruits, to the Cortec Center, the corn industry's premier training facility. Here you will be instructed on the use of the Easy Automation Interface. Please proceed to the elevators, which will take you to the ground level. Okay, so that's basically the result of using this program. And now I'm going to show you how to download and use the program. All right, so here we are on the Steam Workshop page for the SoundBlock Mod Maker Test World. And this is where you're going to find the link to the Space Engineer SoundBlock Mod Maker. Now before you leave, don't forget to rate, favorite, subscribe, you know the deal. So when we press this button here, it's going to bring us to a Dropbox page. And it's going to prompt you to sign in or create an account. You don't need to do any of that. Just hit no thanks and continue. Then you can hit download here or here. Uh, and it's going to come up with this again. And you can just click no thanks again. And then it will come up with a save as dialog box. And when it comes up with this, decide where you want to save it. I'm going to save it to my desktop. So save. And now we can see that we've got this self-extracting zip file. So when we double click on this, it's going to come up with a security warning. This publisher is unknown. I know myself, I trust myself, so I'm going to click run. If you don't trust me, click cancel, proceed with your day, and forget this ever happened. All right, so run, and then we're going to decide where we want to extract. I'm going to extract to the desktop. So extract, and now we've got our Space Engineer's Sound Block Mod Maker file. We don't need this zip file anymore, so we'll just delete that and we'll open this. So this is the file that you want to work with, the one that has the sound block picture on it. So let's just create a shortcut and we'll drag that onto, onto the desktop and put that off to the side. So here's our program. We double click on it, it'll come up with a window and the first thing you're going to do is name the mod. So we're just going to name this my first sound mod. All right, so now we need some sound files. I'm going to create a few. Now, this program only works with MP3 and WAV files. So those are the types of files we'll be creating. So I'm going to open up Audacity, which is an excellent open source sound creation program. And I'll click on mono for input channels. It can be stereo or mono, doesn't matter. 
program takes care of it. So let's make our files. This is a mono wave file. So as you can see here, our sound file isn't very loud. We're going to want it to be a bit louder than this because the farther away you get from a sound block, the smaller the sound is going to get. So this is a mono wave file. All right, so that's not loud enough. We're going to go to effects, amplify, it's going to come up with an automatic amplification here so that it doesn't cut off. And we'll say, OK. There we go. As you can see, it's got louder. This is a mono wave file. All right, so now we export as a mono wave file. So we'll go to File, Export, and then we'll click on Wave for our file type and say, name it mono wave save okay now we've got our mono wave file i'm going to create a stereo wave file and also mp3 versions of both of those so this is a stereo wave file we'll stop go to effects amplify and then export Stereo wave save. Okay. And now we'll do the same for MP3s. This is a mono. Oh, it's not a mono. That would be stereo. This would be mono. This is a mono MP3 file. Amplify export mono mp3 and we're going to want to change this wave to an mp3 save all right and one more stereo this is a stereo mp3 file all right amplify and Export stereo mp3. Save. Okay, so we've got our four file types that our program can deal with. And in order to load them up, all you need to do is select them, drag them into the window, and there they are. If you happen to drag in a file that you don't want, you can just select it and right click and you remove select. You can also drag and select to remove selected. If you have, say, like these three files in there and you drag these three in there, you're going to be having two files that are already in there. The program is going to detect that, come up with a window that says these are already in the list. You click OK and it also adds the one that wasn't in the list anyways. So it deals with itself. Now, this is pretty much good to go uh, when we press create. Uh, before you press create, remember that it's never a good idea to publish works that do not belong to you or that you do not have the rights to publish. If you do, you might lose, lose your Steam uh, profile or whatever. I don't know. Bad stuff happens. Just don't do it. All right, so we're going to open up the file that this program is going to write to. So we're going to go percent app data percent. And we're just doing this to watch it work as it happens. And here that leads us to the roaming file on your computer. And we're going to find the space engineers file and go to the mods file. And ah, I'm going to just going to remove this because that's one I created on a previous try of this video. <laughs> All right, so here's the Mod Maker Demo Sounds uh, mod that I loaded up before. And as you can see in this file, we've got an audio and a data file. In the audio file, we've got the converted sound files that are XWM files now. And in the data file, we've got a CBC or an SPC file that is basically an XML format file that tells the game how to use those sounds. 
So when we click Create right here, you'll notice that it comes up with a new file. And in this file, we've got the audio and data files. All of our sounds are now XMW files. And our data file contains all the information for space engineers to use these sounds in the sound block. Sweet. All right, we're back in Space Engineers, where we'll go to Load World. We've got our Sound Block Mod Maker world here still. And we'll go to Edit Settings and Mods. And as you can see, we now have my first sound mod file right here in the mods list. So we'll double click that to add it. And as you can see here, we've also got the Mod Maker demo sound still loaded. It's important to realize that it's not going to use these sounds anymore for the first sound mod. Uh, I don't know how to create a mod that uh, is able to deal with two, uh, two mods at the same time. So we're just going to see the files in the my first sound mod. So click OK and OK. And now we can load up our world. Ah, da da da, ba da ba da ba, ba da ba 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 ba, loading. <laughs> Is it ready? Yes. Okay. So now we can take a look at our sound block. We've loaded our mod. We should see our new sounds. So as you can see here in the sound list, we have our new sounds, but the sounds that were in the previous mod aren't showing up. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how to deal with that. So we'll click play. This is a stereo wave file. Excellent. This is a mono mp3 file. This is a stereo mp3 file. This is a mono WAV file. As you can see, it's working. So yeah, basically all you gotta do is name your mod, drag your sound files, which are either WAV or mp3 files, into the window, and hit create, and you're good to go. So yeah. Stay safe out there, and have fun. Later.